Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're looking at Driver Talent, yet another Driver Updater program. It's actually pretty easy to overlook because a couple of the programs tend to dominate the market as far as name recognition goes. But Driver Talent is actually a very good one. As you can see, the interface is not all that difficult. For some reason, it thinks I'm on a laptop. I'm not sure if that really matters. Essentially, you have your version number, your tools, and a toolbox, but you can get to all that after scanning as well. So it all depends on what you need it for. Uh, taking a quick look at Peripheral, I do have a new mouse I installed, a new Logitech Wireless. And as you can see, I never bothered with the drivers, and it did pick that up. We did a slight review on the page about how this thing works. We've had very good luck with it. Uh, we found it worked flawlessly when we used it. But let's take a look at Download and Update, which will bring you into the scan, which was the same as what you saw at the home page. You can scan. If there's anything here, you can update. You have your stable drivers. And as you can see here, what they consider the latest driver, I'm not quite sure it's going to make much of a difference. Stable is where you want to go. Latest could put you into a beta. So there's not much point messing around with beta drivers nowadays. Stick to your stable driver. That will be certified by Microsoft typically. You have your backup now, as you can imagine. A lot of these have pro features, so we'll show you a couple of the pro features where if you buy it, you can use it. But the back, the backup does work as it is. So we just hit start or check or uncheck anything here that you might want to back up or not back up. As you can see, you can view the backup files. It is in a folder. We can see it here under C, OS2 folder. You can actually change that in your settings. We'll get to that briefly in a minute. And you can restore. Now everything's unchecked, but if you had a problem with your driver, the drivers we just backed up, let's say your display driver screwed up, you can check this and click restore. And as you can see, now we're hitting some of the limitations of the pro version. So most of the time these things are pretty solid, so that's probably not a very good reason to buy it. The odds of that happening to you are slim. But you also have your uninstaller warns you obviously it's going to break so you can just click uninstall on anything here it notices that we backed it up so everything kind of goes back and forth and works together restore backup what else we got here peripheral drivers we looked at that as i mentioned everything's here you have your pre-download nice time to get a message and as you can see basically these are pro feature to pre-download drivers or for another one but you can export your current hardware profile so you can click next export it it will open the folder up and show you where it is and it's basically just a text file to keep track of everything and once you've done that you can install drivers with the downloaded driver files so you just click next to do that pretty easy pretty neat little option once again we're into some of the pro features it apparently has some PC repair tools in here to fix issues that is a pro feature which makes sense this is a driver updater not a repair tool PC speeder got me I'm assuming that is one of their programs and it is and the hardware detection which honestly is not too useful here for the most part it's going to show you some basic information but again it's also got VR support which will look at your computer and see if you're ready for virtual reality because the requirements for VR is pretty high but again you don't have too much here your installation date CPU video motherboard it's not a lot of system info I think they could do a lot more if you're gonna play with giving people system information you should probably be giving them all of their driver information for example anything that uses a driver so but probably something they're working on and of course the settings as we mentioned if you didn't like that OS 2 2 folder <laughs> uh, yeah you can just change it come into your my PC go to your C drive create a folder whatever you want to do to put it into a custom location uh, it has a bunch of multi-language support Minimize the tray when closed. One of those things I don't like when I close it. I like to close it, not minimize it, because you're not running a thing every day. Scan automatically when you launch. So not much. Pretty easy to use. Automatic backup, etc. So that's pretty slick. So it, one of the things it does pretty neatly, as opposed to some of them, it does do a pretty decent job of doing backing up and protecting before you do your drivers. Most of them do some sort of backup, but this does a really nice job. So. There you go. We're running out of time if I'm going to stick to the five-minute rule. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.